Let us look at some of the ways we can handle and manage our negative emotions so that they do not overwhelm us with their power. Stop and turn towards the emotion. Once you become aware of the negative emotion you were feeling, stop for a moment and turn your attention to the emotion. Take a deep breath and sit down and accept the negative emotion you were feeling, be it anger, resentment, embarrassment, stress, anxiety, or anything else. Do not try to inhibit the emotion. Do not try to suppress it or ignore it. Most importantly, do not try to conquer it, at least not at this stage. Simply accompany the emotion you are feeling with a sense of curiosity and acceptance and without treating it with any kind of animosity or friendship. Simply be with the emotion. Now, identify the emotion. Once you have become aware of the negative emotion, identify what you were feeling and give it a name. For example, if it is an embarrassment, you will know it and recognize it at this stage clearly and without ambiguity. In the previous stage, you were only aware that you were feeling something negative. Here, with the clear and calm sense of accepting the negativity, you will be able to clearly identify the negative emotion and be able to refer to it as anger, worry, sadness, or anything else. Accept the emotion. Again, let me take the example of being embarrassed. When you feel embarrassed, you do not need to be ashamed of it or deny the feeling. It is possible instead for your mind to accept and acknowledge the feeling. Say to yourself, I accept the fact that I am feeling intensely embarrassed at this moment. When you accept the emotion mindfully, you can hold it in your awareness and embrace it, which will make you feel calm and soothed. It is an act of showing compassion for yourself and a sense of responding to your own feeling of distress without hurting anyone else in the process. Accepting the negative feeling is much more effective than punishing yourself. Open yourself to the negative emotion without suppressing it, ignoring it, or denying it. In fact, don't try to feel stronger than the emotion and challenge it. Opening up your mind and embracing the negative emotion effectively creates a separate space for it to dwell while you observe it without getting entangled in it. By creating a separate space for the negative emotion, you will realize that you are not the anger or embarrassment or stress or anything else. You are larger than the emotion. Think of how a mother who holds a crying baby is larger and more capable than the upset child. You are the mother and the negative emotion is your child. Embrace your child with compassion. Know that every emotion is impermanent. Soon, you will realize that all emotions are impermanent. They come, they rise to a peak, and they disappear. Like waves in the sea, they come and go. Your job is to teach your mind to patiently look at each wave, emotion, watch it reach its peak, and then watch it ebb away. We are all conditioned to take all emotions, particularly negative ones, very personally. Mindfulness helps us understand that these negative emotions are only passing events in the mind, mere temporary waves that ebb and flow in the ocean of our awareness. Investigate and find appropriate responses. Now that you have accepted that these emotions are impermanent and that they come and go, sit down and investigate why and how the emotion was triggered. Was it some stray thought? Was it a feeling of worry for something or someone? Was it some kind of comment made by a colleague, a friend, or a relative? At this stage, you will realize that there are certain conditions you take for granted by which you expect others to behave towards you and similarly by which you behave towards others. These sets of values and beliefs make up the expectations you hold for situations, and when things transpire in a way that is contrary to your expectations, negative feelings may result. Or it could have been a usual response to a usual event that keeps happening in your life. It could be anything. Simply allow your more awakened mind to find deep insights that seem hidden hitherto because of the lack of awareness. 
Once you have understood the reason for the negative emotion and have seen it in the right perspective, you might want to respond to it or the people or the circumstances causing it in a way that could prevent the issue from recurring. Finally, trust yourself in doing the right thing. To achieve this, love yourself first. Show self-compassion. Only when you love yourself will you find the strength to love and show compassion to others around you.